Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here, and today we are going to talk about this ColourPop sale. This is 30% off site-wide. I believe this sale will be running through the 20th, but it does say limited time or while supplies last, so they may get to a point where enough things sell out that they end the sale. I'm not 100% sure. I feel like sometimes everybody's just figuring things out as they go, but I'm assuming that it will be about five ish days long. So I wanted to share some of my sale recommendations. I've done many ColourPop sale recommendations videos over the years and a lot of the time my core staple items remain the same. Today what I want to do is really focus on my absolute staple items, like things that I 100% would need to replenish and frankly some of the things I'll be purchasing from the sale this time around. The bulk of the video will be that, those staple items, those replenish items, and then I'll also give you some of my favorite palettes, some of my favorite lip colors, things like that more towards the end of the video. I think that the ColourPop brushes are so underrated. I personally use a handful of ColourPop brushes every single time that I do my makeup. I have a few that are my must-haves. I have multiples of these. I use them all the time. The first one being the blending brush. I know I've talked about this a lot. This is just the perfect transition shade crease brush type of shape and size for me personally. I have many of these. I probably have 10 of these brushes and I can't get enough. I use these pretty much every single time I do my makeup. Another absolute must-have brush for me, especially for ColourPop products, is the small fluff brush. I know a lot of people use this as a under eye setting brush or maybe even for like a concise contouring type of use, but for me personally, this is the perfect brush to use with Super Shock highlighters. It's dense enough that it picks up product, but it's fluffy enough that it applies it in a way that's nice and soft and diffused. I really love this. I think it's a great little multi-use brush and it's one that I highly recommend. It seems like a very basic little shape, but personally, I think it's a pretty special, unique brush within my own collection, so I highly recommend that one. And I'm gonna talk about one more brush. Again, this is a ColourPop specific must-have for me. This is the stippling brush, and this is what I use to apply my Super Shock blushes and Super Shock bronzer. This is a nice smaller size. It has enough density to really pick up that Super Shock unique formula, but it just dispenses it so flawlessly across my cheeks. This is the ultimate Super Shock blush brush. People ask me all the time, how do I apply a Super Shock blush? And I think having the wrong brush makes it seem like the product's underperforming, this is the brush. This is the way that I do it 99% of the time. The other 1% I just apply with my fingertips, but this is the absolute must-have set of brushes from ColourPop. For me anyway, I use them all the time. They have never failed me over many, many years. And I think that the ColourPop brushes do deserve more hype. They're nice and affordable. They've held up over dozens and dozens of washes and wears and travels for me. So any of the brushes are going to be great. But these are the top three for me that I always, always, always recommend. Let's move on to some complexion staples now. I am a huge fan of the Pretty Fresh line. I do like the foundation. I like the tinted moisturizer. The number one product for me is the Pretty Fresh concealer. I honestly have lost count of how many of these concealers that I've used up and repurchased over and over again. This is without a doubt one of the best concealers that has made its way through my makeup room. I use the shade light 40N just for reference. If you watch my videos because we are of a similar complexion, 
then my shade is light 40N. I do have a swatch video where you can see all of these applied to my arm just in a swatch style. Sometimes I think real life video versus these studio edited website photos can be a little bit different, although I don't think this one is too off base. I have dry skin and I do find this to be hydrating and just flattering on my dry skin. I could see this working for a lot of different skin types, but just FYI, you know, if you have a super oily skin type, maybe because this is more hydrating, it might not be as much of a hit for you as it is for me, but this is an absolute staple. I always <laughs> repurchase this because I use it up so frequently. Another product that I love and use frequently, believe it or not, because you don't see it in videos, is the Pretty Fresh Face Powder. The reason why you don't see me using this in videos is because this is my touch-up powder that I keep in my bag. This goes everywhere with me in my purse. I love the packaging. It's nice and slim. It comes with a little spongy puff. Even though you don't see me using this pretty much at all on my channel because this lives in my bag. This is my must-have touch-up on-the-go powder. I use the shade, I think light 7 is the one I have. I think light 6 would work well for me too, but it sold out. I think light 7 is the one I use. I could probably use fair 4 in the winter. This is another all-around great product, so that is gonna go in my replenish section as well. My last complexion staple item is the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Setting Mist. I use this much more often than I use the Pretty Fresh Primer. I've gotten out of the habit of using primer because I always try to apply sunscreen right before I do my makeup, so I've just fallen out of the habit of doing primer, but this hydrating setting mist has definitely saved many a cakey, powdery makeup mess for me. And it's just so refreshing. It never messes up my makeup. It doesn't leave weird spray droplets or anything like that. Another product that I have gone through, who knows how many, probably eight of these. So that's definitely a staple for me as well. If I got nothing else and I just got these items, I would feel like I did a really good job shopping the sale. And look, 42 bucks, I get my setting spray, powder, concealer, and three brushes. That's a heck of a deal in my opinion. Since we're on the subject of face, let's talk about some blush. This is a great time to pick up one of these Instant Crush Cream Blushes. I know when this product first launched, a lot of people were taken aback by the $12 price point. So why not pick it up during the sale? You can get it for under $9. My personal favorite shade is this one called Bali Baby. But again, I have a whole swatch and review video so you can see some live swatches of all of these colors. And just depending on your personal style, your personal skin tone, you may find one of these others works better for you, but Bali Baby is my go-to. I am a very neutral cheeks type of gal. I'm also kind of a neutral lips type of gal. <laughs> I leave a lot of my experimenting for my eyes, but you may be just the opposite and you may find that one of these brighter, bolder shades is better for you. I'm gonna add Bali Baby, but I definitely recommend really any of these colors. I'm a cream cheek product type of gal though, so it's no wonder that I like these. I do really enjoy the Super Shock blushes and the blush sticks as well, but I think I've recommended these so much that I don't wanna touch too much on it in this video. This one's kind of fun. I don't remember this one. Maybe I should try a super hot pink blush just for funsies. I bet I have this somewhere. I just don't remember it, but that's a fun one. Let's talk about some highlighters. I have often talked about the Super Shock highlighters as well. This has been one of their really landmark products in my opinion. My personal favorites are Flexitarian for really bright, intense, bling bling on the face type of look and then for a softer more everyday just casually sweaty cheek 
I would go with Lunch Money, formerly Sweaty Cheek, Flexitarian, if you know, you know. But again, I think any of these are great. It just depends on what your own personal preference is. They have some more fun, crazy colors. They have deeper shades. I know that some of my friends who have a medium skin tone prefer Wisp and Churro. If you have a deeper skin tone, then Avalon or Parasol might be right for you. Personally, my most daily staple, if I had to pick just one, I would pick Lunch Money. But since I have talked about so many Super Shock Cheek products, I think for today's video, what I'm going to recommend are the light sticks. There aren't as many shade options here, but I am just such a fan of this format. Like I said, I am a big cream cheek product gal, and I just think this mode of application is so easy. I can just swipe this on, tap it a couple of times, and I'm good to go. I love the shade Glazy, but all of these are just lovely and high performing. You know, it just depends on what you think suits you the best. I'm a Glazy gal, but they have Sunlight, Molten Hot, and Ignite for different skin tones. I know that this next recommendation might be surprising to those who have been around my channel for a really long time. Oh, this is back in stock. That's exciting. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be grabbing this. Not all of the sets and bolts are on sale, as you can see, but most are. So this is a great time to hit up the value sets if you're looking for a big bang for your buck. There are a lot of good deals to be had as far as the value sets go. I think that my recommendation may be surprising to those of you who have been around the channel for a while because I think this is a great time to pick up a cream gel liner set. I don't wear a lot of eyeliner. I truly have worn more in the past 365 days than probably the rest of my life combined. So I'm really an eyeliner newbie, but throughout the course of my makeup wearing life, my number one go-to eyeliner choice is the cream gel liner. I love these colors as a pop of color in the waterline. Honey Dude and Exit are quite useful to add some brightness and highlight to the eye in that lower waterline area for a more neutral look. Any of these would be a great choice. If you're into more neutrals and smoky looks and things, then Tried and True might be more your speed. I think Just a Fling is the perfect balance for me because I do like these pops of color for that waterline pop of color, but Exit, Honey Dude, and Charmer are some of my most frequently used neutral liners. So this really has it all for me. I definitely would recommend picking up one of these because it's just so useful. I mean, look, this has an $80 value and it's 28 bucks. Get out of here. That's a really good deal. The last really big time staple item that I want to recommend during the site-wide sale is a mega palette. Bare Necessities and Stone Cold Fox are two of the most used, beat up, dirty, dingy looking palettes in my collection. And that's for a reason. It's because I can rely on them all the time. These are great for travel. These are great as companion palettes. If you're just feeling like, oh, I need this one shade to complete the look. If you need a neutral something for the crease or to smoke out the lash line or for a pop of highlight, one of these two palettes is going to provide it for you 100% absolutely. These are two of the most bang for your buck type of palettes that I have in my entire collection. Lately, I've been going more towards these neutrally rosy cooler tones, but I think Bare Necessities is just as good. I've probably used this one technically even more, so can't go wrong with either one of these. As far as the mega palettes go, my runner-up is Aurora Struck. I love this one. We waited for a long time for this to be back in stock. I am a 
purple lover, I'm a green lover, I'm a silver lover. This just has a lot of colors that I'm personally drawn towards. The packaging is beautiful. This is just a total package type of palette for me. So if you already have your neutrals covered, but you want to take advantage of this sale for a mega palette, I would say my top recommendation other than these two is the Aurora Struck palette. These are my top 10 item recommendations. Comes out to just about 110 bucks. Not too shabby when you think about how much use you can get out of these. This is a practically full look right here. The only thing I'm really, really, really missing is a lip and a mascara, but you could probably use this cream blush on your lips too. So these are absolutely my top 10 recommendations, but I do want to give you a couple more options as far as eye and lip colors go because we didn't make it around to the lip colors yet. So let's just kind of quickly breeze through those. If the mega palettes are too big, too overwhelming, don't want to store them, don't want to figure them out, then my neutral recommendation would be this Not a Box of Chocolates palette. This formula is unreal. There's not a single miss shadow formulation wise in this palette. It has some beautiful, rich neutral tones, incredibly useful as both a standalone palette and as a companion palette, nice compact size here. So that is a top pick for me for sure. If you are like me and a lover of rich purples, jewel tones, then the Orchid You Not palette, I believe is one of their best nine pans that they've ever done. It's one that I have used and loved and recommended. Look at this packaging. This is just so special. There's something about this palette that just clicked perfectly into place for me. So this is definitely one of my top recommendations for the sale as well. You probably already know I'm gonna pause on this one, the Troublemaker palette. This was one of my top palettes of the year that it came out, which was was that 2022? One that I still use frequently. I love to travel with this one because I feel like it gives me such a range and every single shadow works together perfectly. There's no missed opportunities here. There's no gaps in the color story for me. This is another really, really well done, interesting palette. I am a 90s gal. I grew up became a teenager, really started coming into my own identity-wise in the 90s. So I think this color story really resonates with me on that level as well. But I think anybody can enjoy this. There's also a beautiful, beautiful bright silver in here called Villain Era. You can see me live swatch this in my favorite silvers video that I did not too long ago. This is just an all-around winner for me. If you wanted to take this sale as an opportunity to pick up one of the collaboration palettes, I would definitely recommend this Sailor Moon for Love and Justice. This was my favorite ColourPop palette that came out last year. Or the Star Wars palette is also a big winner. This is a well-curated, well-done palette. Personally, I gravitate towards this color scheme a little bit more, but these are both great picks as well. Let's talk about a more recent favorite of mine. This is the Chrome Cream Gel Liners. Now, two of my most favorite shades are actually out of stock right now. I wish that I could recommend Wild Idea and Power Trip are two that I've been using quite a lot, but a surprise front runner for me has been this one called Ventura Boulevard. Anytime I've been doing a blue look lately, I've been really drawn towards this shifty purpley blue. These are just incredibly well done. They've risen the ranks of products that I've tried so far this year. These are definitely a contender for best of the year. I would say already I feel comfortable saying that. I like the subtlety of this one called Movie Star, but in all honesty, I use Ventura Boulevard more, so I don't think you can go wrong with any of these. This is definitely a good time to take advantage too, to get one of these on a little bit of a sale. Since we're here talking about eyes, let's talk about Super Shock Shadows. This is the most classic quintessential ColourPop product that there ever will be, in my opinion. I have many Super Shock favorites. If you wanna see more about 
which shades I prefer, what my top picks are. I have a lot of videos about that, so I'll link a couple of those down in the description box. But just to quickly run through here, personally, I like Super Shock Shadows as more of a pop of color. So I would recommend doing something really fun like this shade Bubble Bee, which is a golden orange color. Moonwalk, it's a brown green flip and it's just so special here you can see a little swatch here it's subtle it's not quite neutral it's not quite colorful it's just that perfect balance sort of similar for this shade rooftop cocktails hey there's my arm look that's me makeup just for fun look at this blue brown shift if i'm going to go on like a little weekend trip i can grab a neutral palette and a couple of super shock shadows and really feel covered. I also love this one called Ripple. This is a bright blue purple shifty shade. Can't go wrong with that one. You really can't go wrong with any of these, whatever suits your fancy, but those are a couple of my favorites. Last but not least, let's talk lips. I have so many favorites. Lippy sticks are another product that are really close up there with Super Shocks for me as far as being an OG must-have type of ColourPop product. There's a shade called Cookie that is absolutely my favorite soft little neutral nudie color. It looks like this on me. It's not too warm it's not too cool it's just one of those my lips but better type of shades i also like some of their brighter colors the bright pinks and the bright reds are really gorgeous bichette has been a favorite of mine for a long time goldie is another classic this is a more deep brick red we have shades like parker and brink that are og neutrals for me as well you really can't go wrong with any of these there's this great brown shade called grunge unfortunately it's sold out but this is a great little brown 90s lip when it comes back in stock keep an eye out for that i'm also a fan of the lip stains i feel like this is one of those either you love it or you hate it type of products my absolute most used is this one called sugar snap it looks a lot lighter than this on me i don't know how you translate this shade to this this is not what it looks like on me but I'll link my video so you can see how this performs on me. This just doesn't make sense. It's like orange in this picture and mauve here. I, I don't know. Always watch a lot of reviews because website photos can kind of take you down the wrong path. But I love this shade, Sugar Snap. All the writing has worn off of mine, so that's how you know I really love it. I've been a longtime fan of the Lux lipsticks. I have many favorite shades. I don't think you can go wrong with a lot of these. If I had to pick two must-have Lux lipsticks, believe it or not, I would not pick any of these little soft nudie shades. I would pick this pink shade called Still Crazy. It looks good on everybody. It's this mauve neutral pink and I don't really love a lot of pinks, but I love Still Crazy. My other top pick would be, where are you? Yeah, there you are. This one called Gallop. Now, it doesn't look quite this dark on me. It is a little bit softer and maybe even warmer than this photo portrays. This is a brownish, kind of caramelly terracotta color, and I love it. I think this is one of their most beautiful lip colors. The final thing that I want to recommend is something that I don't think gets enough attention. I think these ultras really tend to steal the show when it comes to ColourPop lip products. And I think that these Just a Tint lip crayons get forgotten. They get lost in the shuffle. This isn't a very opaque, intense product. It's not something that lasts for a super long time. I mean, you have to touch it up. And this definitely has a very fruity scent. So I think that's why some people might be turned away from it. I love scented makeup, especially if it's sweet or fruity or delicious in any way. I've used this one called Gimme S'more a lot. 
Z Boys is a great nude. I honestly really like the shade called Cherry Pickin'. Sort of a deeper reddish brown type of nude color on me. You can see it looks quite sheer here, but you can build it up. These don't get enough attention, so I gotta say, don't forget about the lip tints. This is a nice little product. If you like something like this, especially if you don't mind a more fruity scent, it does have that passion fruit fruity scent, so keep that in mind. But if you're like me and you like a delicious lip product, maybe it's time to break out the Just a Tint. I know I threw a lot at you here, but I really wanted to just give the rundown. I will link a bunch of relevant videos in the description box if you want to see more about anything that I talked about today. And if you're watching this video when the sale is already over, then you can still save 10% on any, almost any ColourPop order by using my affiliate code. It's just my first name, Amanda, and that will save you 10% on most things. It won't apply to sale items and it won't apply to the volts and value sets. But in general, if you do need to pick up a couple things, replace a couple things, you can always just add my affiliate code Amanda on there to save a couple bucks. I would love to hear what you're picking up. Are you splurging on anything? Are you replenishing your staples like I am? Are you maybe going for something a little bit more exciting? I always love to hear what you think about things, what you're enjoying, what you're buying, what you're loving. So make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Love your face. Bye.